We certainly got a warm welcome at the Mill City Dairy Bar. And while not everyone gets their name on the sign. Thanks for coming out. I, I, I'm really appreciative of you For 61 years, the Jordan family has welcomed customers as if they were family. <laughs> and then when you see generation upon generation, that makes me very proud. Esther Jordan and her husband opened the dairy bar near Lake Winola in 1963. Back then, it was a roadside ice cream stand. It has grown into so much more. Still all in the family, Esther, sitting here now with daughters Melody and Roxanne, thinking back to raising them here in the summers. I even brought my irony. I never forget my ironing board behind the ice cream machines and my iron in order to iron. Well, you don't iron today, but in those days we did. And this is a photo of older sister Roxanne. I was nine when I was cooking and I couldn't reach the grill so we had a wooden box that I would stand on to flip the burgers. Still can't reach the I know. <laughs> Roxanne is still helping in the kitchen, but Melody and her husband are now the owners, keeping the family tradition alive with a twist. I put a menu together based on what I would want to eat. Look at the extensive menu, so much more than your typical ice cream stand, because Melody was a culinary professor. What's served here can have some extra foodie flair. We still have hot dogs and hamburgs that my mother and father started with. Um, and of course, my mother's famous chili sauce at 90. She's still almost 90. She's still making it. Good so, to see you guys. Thank you. Look good. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Mom Esther is still a fixture here. Consider her quality control. She'll sit near the sink and she'll say, you didn't put enough meat on that. Put another slice. She is watching. Even though I don't own the business. I always worry if something has to be done or this has to be done. For the Jordans, selling ice cream is like selling smiles. Yeah, thank you, ladies. Oh, thank you. Have a good one. You will, thank you. And when customers feel like they're part of the family, it's more than just the food and treats that keep them coming back. John Meyer, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Wyoming County.